Hello YouTube, what is up? Uh, Halo reviewer here, this time uh, Well, I'm on Daily Stars Collecting And I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving I know I sure did And um Yeah I'm sorry, I didn't say that in the last video Um, mostly because I forgot But <laughs> Oh well And um, today I'm starting off with the second question Which is what do you think of Emperor Palpatine? Uh, well, I'm not a fan of him, but I'm also, you know, I don't like him, and I also don't hate him, because he knows what's going to happen, and it's his reason, you know, why everything happened in the Star Wars legacy. Um, but I mostly hate him because he turned um, Anakin Skywalker to the dark side, and um, he killed my favorite Jedi, Base Windu. Yeah, Mace Windu's my favorite Jedi. And, um, I don't like him because of those two reasons. And he killed all those younglings. Technically, he killed them. And, you know, he thought he was almighty and killed all the Jedi. Which, clearly, he did not. And, you know, he's just one of those persons that thinks he could... You know, uh, well, most of the Sith thinks they can solve anybody's problems with their power. But that's not true. I mean, but I also do like him because uh, if it wasn't for him, chaos would have broken through um, in the planets they owned. Like, you know, say bounty hunters all over the places they owned them. But um, another reason, they have Kashyyyk. The Empire has Kashyyyk, and I love the Wookiees. And they treat them really bad, and they kill them. Most of them, I believe. But also, um, he, he, like, he wanted to run the world with an iron fist, and, um, he tried to keep the Republic, but people didn't necessarily agree with him, and he was a Sith. And nobody knows what the Sith is, they all think he's a, they're, they're a legend in the Star Wars, um, show, but, or, uh, history, but... Yeah, um, I really don't um, like him or hate him, like I said, because he brings out balance. But he, but sometimes he, I really hate him in his alternate endings or alternate modes, like in the Force Unleashed. And after Episode Six, where supposedly he got into a body and almost turned Luke to the dark side, and all that stuff, um, he could be a really powerful old man and angry one too. And but. You know, all this stuff wouldn't happen because of him. So that, that's, that's my little rant on it. But uh, yeah, now let's move on to the second one. Sorry. Um, yeah, sorry, my room's a mess right now. Mostly because I've been moving around. And, yeah. But here's my collection so far. It's pretty big, if I so myself. Um, I know. These two have been repackaged, but they're from Kenner because they have, oh, well, they're from the Hasbro Kenner thing that was going on. The first thing I want to talk about is packaging. Now, I technically say that there are four types of packaging. Um, there's the first packaging, which was the, which was the orange one, and the, the green packaging, which I do not own for some reason, I couldn't find one, but then there is the green one with the holographic card. And, uh, yeah, now let's see. There's also the, the one that came out before episode one. And, uh, yeah. But now let's move on to the figures. Um, I think, I don't hate the wave, I mean, if it wasn't for this, um, we wouldn't have Star Wars today. This, you know, bring back Star Wars, Star Wars, and new figures as well. Um, Josh mentioned about, um, these Jawas that light up, up, oh, sorry about that poster. But, one lights up more better than the other one, I'm trying to get it here. Yeah, you see, that one got it better, but, um, I lost his weapon, 
And they made these Jawas in, I believe, well, not necessarily these, but they were remodeled into, um, in 2008, I believe. So, yeah. But my favorite ones from this whole line have to be this Luke, Farm Boy Luke, which I got um, Sunday, and I reviewed them. Go check it out if you want to. And uh, Dangar, because he's made of a, of a rubbery type. Um, these are the ones that I own so far. And the worst one probably has to be um, this guy. I don't remember his name anymore, even though I've seen reviews of him. But he's my least favorite because he looks so fat with this thing. But And um, Darth Vader has to be my second favorite least. Um, I don't know why, it's just he isn't posed very well. And um, that's the only vehicle playset that I technically own. But as you can see, most of them have bodybuilding. But I really love the Stormtroopers, and these are really dirty. But, yeah. Stormtroopers and Snowtroopers, those were probably the best to get. Because, wouldn't you want a big guy? You know, a big Stormtrooper or a big um, Snowtrooper? Uh, now, Darth Vader is just... Posability. That's the only problem with him. And uh, I don't really have a problem with this Lando. As people say, you know, he's the worst one because he has his six pack and it's going through his shirt. The only problem I have is that that thing falls off and it just knocked over Stormtrooper. But, whoop, there goes another one. But, yeah, that's the only problem that I have with this Lando. And uh, this is probably another one of my favorites. It's the Luke Skywalker with... Uh, the Stormtrooper helmet disguise. The Stormtrooper disguise. So, uh, yeah. And then, like I said, there's also, this is a remolded one. But it does say Kenner down there. Um, somewhere around there. And that was released in the commemorative tin. And so was that Leia right there. But, um, yeah. Um, the 90s was, you know, for those big muscly type of guys. Um, as you can see, I have some over here set up already. You know, you got this Wolverine and you take off his thing. He has like this six pack and so does this Batman and that Iron Man back there. You know, this spider gobbler guy. And uh, I don't think the line was worst. The worst Star Wars line ever. But I, you know, I also don't think it's the best, but I also don't hate it. Um, because... Even throughout the years, whoops, my camera fell, but even throughout the years, they don't have the best, they didn't have the best ones. Like, let's say the Attack of the Clones one, where they had great detail, but crappy posability. And I really like the play value on these, but, like I said, they were horrible. And then Power of the Jedi, this guy was released, um, which was a bigger improvement th from that Darth Vader, but I did not like him at all. So oh, yeah, and now we have some horrible ones. I mean, this wasn't this one isn't horrible, but mine's can't hold up a lightsaber, and his helmet keeps on falling off. Um, but yeah, and um, I have some more too. I mean, some recent day ones, like this Boba Fett from Soccer Legends, the rocket firing one, horrible figure, worst ever. I don't even pay attention to him. But, um, like I've said, it's not the worst, and it's also not the best, but I like it, and it saves Star Wars fans. You know, we'd ha we wouldn't have all these people in our channel that are old enough, that were old enough, um, to buy these. I was probably like one, maybe less than one years old when they first started out, and I was probably like three, and I know my brother owned some micro machines, but supposedly I lost them, but I found some recently. Uh, but, um, yeah, these are my thoughts on this, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and subscribe to the channel, and, um, everyone else that's in this channel, but, yeah, I'll leave it on to the next person, so, yeah, bye, YouTube, and I'll see you guys next week.